All right, it's the end of the month. It's Halloween time, guys. Hope you guys have an amazing Halloween there. I am personally focused on the new Maven business, so I'm not going too, too crazy this year. Uh, but I'm gonna quickly show you guys uh, the breakdown of what your month should look like. I don't know if the title got conveyed as well as I wanted it to, but I wanna show you guys the fluctuations in your account over a month if you're a profitable trader. Now, this month, I made about 20% from the end of September to the end of October, so we can show you that uh, right here uh, in a second uh, so you guys can see exactly uh, which days I'm making tons of money and which days I'm not and then I'm gonna show you basically the trades uh, the style of trading that I'm using in order to make that 20% over the month so let's jump into it. All right, so I just pulled up screenshots from uh, my FX book there. You can see 21% and it's actually 13% drawdown, which is not the best for me. I prefer anything below 10% as a drawdown for the month, but you know, still making about two times, almost two times as much as the drawdown here. Uh, that's not what's super, super important. What I want to talk to you guys about is if you look at the growth over here, so end of September, end of October, roughly one month there, you can see how the profit actually works. And we did go into this drawdown, that would have been the 13% right there. But what I wanted to point out is you only have about 10% of days that are really making your profit. Uh, so I talked about this on stream. If you guys wanna jump into the streams, I am streaming a little bit more and I'm streaming all of my trades live and we're tracking, not all of the trades, but anything that I do at the time of streaming, we're gonna be tracking the actual trades and showing you the actual profit over a long period of time so you guys can see consistently profitable even when live streaming. So you can see we have a couple, you know, these kind of nullif nullify each other, nullify each other, nullify each other. Like they're just kind of crossing each other out. That's about 90% of days. So you can see one, two, three. That's basically going to be all of the profit for the month. And this was like a 10% day and I just posted a video about a 10% profit day and that was that day there that was like 5% and that was like 6% something like that. The rest of it all just crosses each other out. Now, what's important about this guys is the difference then between a profitable trader and somebody who is unprofitable, who's losing to 20% a month is only a matter of a few days. And it's really a matter of mindset. And when you go into a negative day, when you're not doing super, super well, you can see the losing trader is going to take multiple losses throughout the day. And they're going to make those losses much bigger. So as you can see, my biggest loss, that's about a 4% uh, loss for the day, as you can see. And that's going to be two losers, essentially, right? Two losers for the day, and then we cut it off. This was one massive winner, and we let it run really, really well. Uh, this, I believe, was two medium-sized winners, something like that, and, you know, one medium-sized winner, something like that. The rest of these are just kind of... Uh, you know, you have one winner, one loser kind of breaking even throughout the day. When you're making only like about 60% win rate, you know, it's not going to be something that's really, really crazy in terms of every single day you make money. Now, this is a, a decent result for the month, uh, but it can be improved upon as well. Uh, but I just really want to say that as long as you are able to let those those really, really big days run, that's what's gonna take you out of the, the turning point of being a losing trader into a, uh, a trader who can make 20% a month. And even though each individual day is not consistently profitable, over the period of a month you are, and as you guys can see, over all of my videos over the past, what, like five months, I've shown you the profit over those months, and every single month, I'm ending with at least 10% profit. So even though we're not consistent day to day, each month we are consistent at this point. So that's really good. So this uh, strategy was basically trading with just essentially the NASDAQ, a little bit of the Euro, a little bit of the pound. And now uh, what we're doing with the NASDAQ guys, I talk about this in every single video pretty much now, is we're looking for those higher time frame biases, right? So let's look at today as what we would have done as an example, just to show you um, kind of how we would be taking these trades. So today going into the, the, the open here, we can see that it looks rather bearish coming into the New York open. We're rejecting off of that previous order block, right? And then we waited for that 6 a.m. close there. And you can see the 6 a.m. close here would have actually been this white candle right there, right? So that's a really strong indication that um, we are gonna be then rejecting off that level. So then when we do come back to that level, uh, that's gonna be our, our rejection point. So we can see, we can draw that out there and you can see that that's actually where we're gonna be rejecting off of when we do come back up to that. Actually, that's gonna be 
that's going to be the rejection point for later on. Sorry, the, the first trade is um, is not off of that, right? So the first trade we would have taken would have been essentially this trade here. And that would have actually been stopped out on the actual open. So you generally want to delay that just to be a little bit careful because the open is a little bit volatile. You want to be maybe moving your stops a little bit wider or delaying your trade to enter later. Uh, but essentially because we were looking for this, this bearish retest here uh, and then continuation to the downside, uh, that would have been our trade. And as we we're saying in the previous video, you could really shoot for 5R with these trades uh, because that's um, that's what the NASDAQ likes to do. So 5R based off of that with a little bit wider stop, you can see how that really worked. Uh, and then we can say, okay, now that the four hours then closed at the 10 a.m. here, we can say uh, that we wanted to retest that uh, and it retested it and then continued back to the downside. Right. And that's all we're going to be doing basically, guys, is is retesting those zones on the higher time frame, looking for the reversals on the higher time frame uh, or on the lower time frame and, and then continuation into that trend. Right. That was just a quick video for you guys. Uh, I am going to be shooting off to uh, Mexico or something along those lines in the next coming days. I got to get out of the house here. Uh, so we are going to be hopefully streaming from there and doing uh, some cool stuff. Uh, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys follow some of the streams because I do want to stream again for you guys live uh, just so you can see uh, some of the live trades. You can follow them absolutely for free uh, and, uh, and, and make a little bit of profit. I'll see you guys.